It's a beautiful day. It's about uh, 50 something degrees. And this is a video that uh, I didn't think I was going to be making anytime soon. But as things have changed, uh, I shouldn't say things have changed. Nothing's really changed other than my plans a little bit. I'm putting up my road trek for sale. I'm cleaning her up right now. I've already cleaned all the personal belongings out. Um, come as a surprise. This is not, I'm not trying to sell it through YouTube. This is where my, so uh, in the comments or whatever, please, this is not, uh, I'm not trying to sell it to through YouTube. Um, I think I already actually have a buyer, but uh, I'm still cleaning it up if he, if he doesn't come through. The reason I'm selling this is pretty much, it's a little dirty right here, but uh, I need a real shower. Honestly, this class B is great. The fuel economy is great, but this showering in the hallway, um, I was cleaning the, uh, the fan, so I have some specks here on the floor, but that's all gonna be cleaned up. I put the original seats, head covers back. This van has been very good to me, has under 90,000 miles. Um, and it's just time to get something a little bit bigger. I'm gonna be looking for uh, possibly a class C that has a, a full-time bed and a larger bathroom. That's really what I need is a bathroom that has a, 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 a real shower. Um, this will do, but when I went out for one month at a time or more, uh, this is not enough space, especially when I take a family member with me, then um, this is where I sleep. I give them the comfortable bed and then this turns and makes into a bed. And I'm too big, getting too old to be sleeping on this seat. So it's gonna be better. So I've cleaned her out and I'll keep you posted, but uh, I'm gonna do, give her a good wash on the outside and repair the gel coat. I'll show you how that looks right Almost now. Almost two years ago, I don't know if you can see this here, but it's losing some of its shine gel coat. So I'm gonna repair that. I have a product that I applied you see here in patches. So this is the before, and I'll show you the after. So I'm gonna wash her right now. And you can see here with the sun, see these areas right here where they're just, the, the shiny coat's gone. So, all right, I'll bring it back. Well, she cleaned up real nice after a good pressure washer bath. And, uh, Oh, we got a little soap on this side. I'll fix that. So yeah, trying to bring her back to life with a clear coat and it's gonna come out really nice. If you ever want a product, here's what I'm doing. I'm restoring, I don't know if you can see this in the camera. It's called Polyglow for the wet look. It's for make old fiberglass look like new. So I don't know if you can see here with the sun, but I'm gonna do my best to capture I did this about a year and a half ago. I gave it a coat and man, it made it look just perfect. So let me show you this side I already did. So this side here, I don't know if you can see the difference. This side's in the shade, but this is after two coats and two coats is gonna be enough. Um, Cause I, I need, I only have half the bottle left and I need enough to do the other side. Typically, the first time I did it, I did three coats. So, um, you start, I just start at the top. This is not a wax. It's, uh, you use a special applique uh, mitt that they provide and it's worth it. If you can see this part of the roof is done. This part is not done. This side hasn't been touched yet. But I don't know if you can see. So this is the before and then I'm gonna do an after. All right. So she's gonna be she's gonna be listed up for sale this week, and uh, well, on to new ventures. Shit, it's a little bit windy. I just finished just in time, so this is. I don't know if you can tell how it looks like after. Give it three coats. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, the new buyers, thank you. I know. No, I'll go camping again. Mm -hmm. They flew down from Seattle. Yeah. Yeah, they flew down from Seattle to pick it up. My first buyer flaked out. There she goes for the last time. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll see you on the road again. Great people. I wish all the new, new owner all the best. This is bittersweet seeing my van drive away for the last time. Who knows? Maybe we'll cross paths again, but I enjoyed this van for the last five years I had a lot of great trips a lot of great memories and i know there's a lot of life left in this van for the new owner and i wish them all the best in their travels